Hello, my name is Pat Fader and I'm an instructor, an IT instructor at Milwaukee Area Technical College and I'm going to run you through how you can go about accessing the DreamSpark site which is, that's a great, it's an, it's an amazing resource. Essentially it gives you access to all of Microsoft's operating systems. Before we get started I want to point out that these, you know, these operators, operating systems are fully functional um, but they are for academic purposes, meaning you can't <laughs> you can't you can't download them and get the product key and then sell them sell the product keys you can't use them at your company there's a, there's a, there's, a, there's a whole set of rules associated with this and when you do download a a product it will it will um kind of give you the end user license agreement just check it over but it's for academic purposes let's take a look also on my resources link here on my web page i do have some information on the dreamspark site and I even have the end user license, the end, the EULA here as well. As far as you know, when will you get access to this resource? What we're doing is we want access to um, be initiated or pretty much on the on the first day of night classes. Night classes typically start the week after day classes begin. So you know, about a week into the semester, um, your DreamSpark site will be um, created if you're a new stu student or reactivated if you're a returning student. Well, let's go back. Let's check my email real quick. So what happens is I created a dummy email account to access the DreamSpark site, and here we go. I received an, I received an email from my I didn't doing a CBT nugget demo today as well and VMware, but let's see here. We have. You'll see if you if you watch the VMware um, screencast next that it's it's the same user interface, so the emails are very similar, although they are two unique sites. But the DreamSpark site is this one here, the bottom one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I didn't read it very carefully. Welcome to the eight, you know welcome your email address to your DreamSpark web store. Real quick. Your you know, the the email address that you use to access these resources, um, it's your student email address, which is, you know, I I have it I typed it out here as well. It's um your username would be your character based username at gmatc.matc.edu. So it's username, which is typically your last name followed by a couple initials at gmatc.matc.edu. So whatever your student email address is, that's what your username is for accessing these resources. And what do I have to do? I have to complete my registration. I can do that. All right. Pat Fader. Password. We're almost done. So, you know, what do you have access to? There's a lot. <laughs> Um, probably the thing that most of our students use would be the operating systems and I'll do a quick demo on that like Windows 8, Windows 7 again these are fully functional and there are some applications that a lot of our students use the applications the most um, common ones would be you know Visual Studio if you're a programmer um, and then Visio for creating network diagrams if you're in one of the um, like you know IT network specialist program there's other ones out here as well. Don't get excited. You see Microsoft Office Suite 2007. That is just a service pack. The Office Suite is something that you have to buy. So that the DreamSpark site will not cannot provide you um, access to you know can't can't provide the Microsoft Office. So let's just let me run through real quick like downloading a product. We'll try Windows uh, 7. Let's add it to cart. When you're downloading them, just make sure I mean, if there's an option. Well, this this one here looks like um, it's it's 32 or 64 bit. Just you know, just pay attention when you're downloading it. If it's a 64 bit or 32 bit version, typically, if I am, um, well, actually now with VMware Workstation, I run a lot of my stuff virtually. The 64 bit version version works fine, 
and at, and at home if you're actually loading on physical hardware the 64-bit version is always better so we've added it to cart let's check out here's that end user license agreement we'll continue A lot of clicking around here. Okay. I'm going to just, there's the product key was, was going to show up on the bottom screen. I'm just going to kind of hide that. Um, we already have a, the download manager installed on this computer, so I can just download this file here, I believe. Yep. I'm kicking that off. And now our download begins. So if if you haven't downloaded a product before, the first thing you're going to have to do is download the um, download manager. Start the download up. And here we go. So I hope this is helpful. Um, one of the things I, I get a question with occasionally is, you know, I forget, you know, I downloaded it, I forgot my product key. You can always come back in through this the site um, to view any previously accessed product keys. I just uh, pause the screencast for a second to show you that it is downloading, and then um, if you scroll down on a little bit more, you can see that we can also that we could also um, start the 64-bit. Windows 7 Professional download as well. So I'm going to pause it again. Once it's done downloading, I'll just show you what you do with uh, resultant resulting files or the downloaded files. Well, all right, it's downloaded. So let's see what happens here. I'm going to hit the launch button. Okay, then that just opens up the folder where we down the, where the downloads went to, and um, and let's see, today's July 9th, so here's the ISO file that we downloaded, Windows 7 Professional uh, with Service Pack 1. It's an ISO file, so now what do you do with it? Well, you, um, you can map this file to, to a DVD-ROM drive in a VMware Workstation, or if you want to burn it you know, to an actual DVD, you have to use some burning software. I use ImageBurn. Let's see if I can show you it to you real quick. Uh, this is a free utility, free program, and I could just write image file to disk. So I could, I could um, browse for my ISO file, and then I didn't need a DVD, but then I could, uh, I could burn it. So this, this button down here would be lit up. So let's summarize, and um, let me start closing some of these windows I have open. I took a screenshot of a different window. Um, you can tell that it was on the um, on the in the DreamSpark site, it, just to show you that yes, it does it does give you a product key. I, I kind of crossed off the last you know 20 characters of the product key or whatever, but I wanted to show what it looked like. And it is possible to um, to go back at any time and get all the product keys of, any, of anything that you've downloaded. So I just I wanted to point that out um, real quick. You can also that would be um, under the on, once you've logged in you can click under your account slash orders and um, it looks like I've been, looks like I've been signed out but you'd sign in and you can get your uh, product keys that way so um, note on that and then the last thing is and some this is pretty critical I think I mentioned I apologize if I'm repeating myself but when it comes to support email your instructor. He, she will then forward it on to the appropriate individual here. And you know, any of any of the additional like information regarding the products or or whatever, I do have a resources link on my website. So you know, I've got some information on the DreamSpark site here. Um, when I talk about VMware next, there's screencasts here and how to use the VMware Workstation product. So um, I, I you know the forgot password link, which I talked about a little bit in the Nugget video. The same thing applies here. And if you got your password, you go you, know, you go to the logon link, which again that's on my website, Student Software. So you can go to the um, logon page, 
you can say I forgot my password and then here you put in your um, student email address which is you know typically it's your last name some kind of initial or two at um, was it gmatc.matc.edu and that would then reset your password you know allow you to reset your password so I hope this was helpful and have a great day